Hello and welcome to Beyond the River Sticks and it all worked! Yes! And I can grab people with my hands like a Giga Rooster here. Because I refuse to put up his regular name because it's yeah. too phallic like. So, well, it's, getting, it's getting changed anyway. What so. are you going to rename yourself to? Um, I'm probably going to rename it to my old account, which was The Abomination. So. Oh, yeah, I enough. find that much more fitting. That's much, much. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> think of this obnoxious blob of like intestines and like. Claws, it's gonna gut you versus uh, a penis. <laughs> a really big one. <laughs> it all makes sense. It all makes sense now. So, welcome to our lovely show where we talk about Smite. Oh my god, we do great things here. Yes, Yay! and and tonight we have a very special guest, the Spray Iron, wearing his USA gear and eating Illuminati ice cream. USA hat. He has a USA hat, a Nike shirt, and he's he's eating Illuminati ice cream. Yes, he showed it yes. to us earlier. I yes. don't know where he got it. He is a crazy, crazy person. He's doing all of this at three in the morning his time. Yes. That is that is what it is like yeah. to be spray yarn. That's how you play mid lane like a boss. So anyway, we're gonna jump right into as the topic says the tournament results from last weekend. And as you will see with my lovely video. Wait for it. It'll happen. Wait, we're gonna It'll do, it like do it this and then that. Go, go, go. There we go. Look at that, it's working. In the EU side of things, Natalie Sports EU came in first. Woo! Woo! Congratulations, Spray. E Lemon Gaming. E Lemon yeah. came in. Came in. Came in, came in second. <laughs> e SK Lemon Gaming. Gaming came in. Yes. Yeah, SK Gaming came in third. Over on the NA side, Snipe Gaming took first. Denial Esports NA came into a very close second with Root in third. Root in third. How many people's heads are exploding? All the people that were watching the tournament on Saturday. And then yeah. they went. And so they were like shocked at what happened with Denial taking out Root because that was massive turn of events. And what happened right after that? What happened right after that? Well, what happened was Root was like, we're getting rid of people and we're getting in new people. So they had a major roster redux. Who did they remove? What they happened? Removed. <laughs> Who did they remove? Who did they remove? Who they removed remove? Andister. Yes. And yes. They Andister gone. Bumped Anatoly down to sub, or sub right? Anatoly. More or less gone. Ish. And so now it's Zap Sparks. Zap Sparks. Uh, the best. The best, the best. media. That's it. The best and uh, Maddie Pocket and then Lasses. The best is going side lane or is Lasses going side lane? I can't remember. Lasses is Lass jungle. Lasses is going jungle. Oh, Lasses is going jungle. Interesting. That'll be very nice to see. So, oh, oh, they did. Like... I, God, it's been like a whole week. Jeez, <laughs> no, it's been like two days. Like... <laughs> I know, like, it's not like we got a whole new meta or something in the last few days. Yeah. So, that's what happened with that. Okay. Um, on to those lovely things. So, soon we will be actually getting into the lovely scenario of what is going on with this this topic that we are talking about that is the, the new powerhouse NA team. <gasps> You might just have to wait to see. We're, we're not going to spoil it just yet because we want more people to get in here and be like, oh, who is this new powerhouse NA team that could possibly crush the competition? Me. I don't know. It looks it's like it's obviously <laughs> Spray Yarn's new team. Obviously. That's yeah. why he's here this late in the morning. He's and moving. that's why he's wearing a USA hat. That's why he's wearing a USA hat. He's moving to the USA to compete and destroy everyone. Oh, yes. Yes. Because you make so much money with Team Smite. Spray, all positions. <laughs> team Spray, all positions. <laughs> Yes. He's gonna multi box tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he is yes. that good. That is I, I would believe it. I would believe it. So what do we want to talk about now? Because I want to change the topic. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't We had a patch. Yeah. We had a patch. Yeah. We had a new god. So there's this lovely new god named Athena. I keep wanting to leave off the A because I'm worse used to, you know, talking about Athena. Yeah. The, 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 the popular streamer. And anyway. Uh, she is a tank, a magical tank. What a shock! There's uh, a shock. We were discussing it. A on... magical tank. So, oh, oh, with a spear, <laughs> a magical tank with a spear who stabs you with stuff three times. Who, three times. Who <laughs> throws stuff in front of her in a small cone? Who summons other people to do physical damage to you? But she's a magical tank. No, it does magical damage. Yes, it does magical damage, but they stab you with swords. <laughs> Just saying. They kind of explode. 
I don't know. They're like they're they're more like suicide bombers than anything. They show up and then they explode yeah. and you're you're dying. And that's terrible. <laughs> oh. I mean, just... high res bringing suicide bombers to Smite since 2013. <laughs> oh my god, we are never getting on the high res YouTube with this. <laughs> never, ever. <laughs> no, never. Oh, it's terrible. So, what do you guys think of a theme? Let's start off with. First off, yeah. raise your hands if you've played her. Okay, hey. good. For once, like ever, we've had everybody on the panel has actually played said God before the show. I know. It's great. Yay for this. All right, well, I guess we'll start off with Ian Rebel's opinion. Because, I mean, we don't often say things very, no, no, very much. No, no, no. We are... I think she's awesome. Holy shit. It's fun to just, like... Oh, they're having fun over in the right lane. It looks like they're kind of getting a little bit of a fight. I'll be right back. <laughs> you know, like Superman that shit and go on over there. Yeah. And then suddenly you land and you're like... He's got that, like, build up and then... Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know why he has I a want, No, what they need to do, obviously they need to do a Superwoman cape. Or yeah. Superwoman skin, where she they can, like, crouch down and you see, like, the ground around her crackle and stuff like that. And then she jumps up like that. <coughs> Definitely necessary. I... Vastly approve of this. Some sort of superhero right, mock-up cape. Thank you. You have your next skin idea. Go to work. Um, America. 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 Exactly. Red, white, and blue. All that's necessary. So, I mean, it's just awesome to be able to jump into a fight that's across the map and be there in, like, two seconds and totally disrupt what's going on, give the protections to the person that you are jumping to, and... It's a great way to get some people out of sticky situations. Like, you see them running away, and they're, like, low on health. And it targets... It throws you where they were when you targeted them. So if they move after you, like, set it off, it's not going to go to where they are now. It's where they were. And so it's great if they're running away, because now you're behind the people. And so then you can use your taunt and draw them off the player, so that way you can save them. And then suddenly you're dead, because you're like, holy crap, I'm not quite as tanky as I thought I was, but I am pretty damn tanky. But there were five of them chasing them. Maybe this wasn't the best idea, and now I'm dead. So Athena is now the new bane of everyone's existence because everybody who's not that awesome at the game is going to take her and jump into a fight and die. <laughs> basically. You basically. Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying she's going to be like the first week of every new god right. since Guan Yu. Since Guan yeah, Sense Sense Guan Yu, exactly. <laughs> Guan Yu being the only uh, ever released god that comes out and wrecks everybody for no day good reason. Day one, first time you play, win every game. <laughs> yep. He's just like, I like this guy. He looks cool. He's got a he's got a very fancy beard. I want to play him. Yes, if anybody doesn't know Guan Yu, it's that's actually And like... Athena does not have a fancy beard. This no. is not the god we're talking about. But she about. does run around in high heels. <laughs> That is a very important statistic. All females in Smite restaurant must run around in high heels. <laughs> must. Must. Because they can't... Obviously, they can't make footstep sounds. The only people that they can record the footsteps of are the females in the office. So they follow them around with the microphone instead of a camera. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I apologize. Sometimes my co-host goes a little insane. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I know cameras are funny. <laughs> oh, but you're like running around down there at the lower end of the body with what a is microphone happening? instead of a What camera. is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, <laughs> anyway, we'll get back to topic. So, what do you think of Athena? Fun. Fun. She's Good an enough. awesome initiator. I think yeah. she's honestly one of the better gods out right now. Mm -hmm. Honestly. I feel like you can put her anywhere and she's just going to wreck team, especially late game, she can she has so much utility, just pull people off the carries and everything. Oh, yeah. I feel like she's gonna be really good. The the taunt was like Yeah. I mean a taunt. <coughs> mm. A taunt, not just I'm a fear. Gonna... It's like it's like Hades' is fear except awesome. It's yeah. It's like come here guys. Come here, I want you to I want you to be trying to take my tower. I'm gonna ult over to my friend who's trying to defend the tower and then I'm gonna taunt you so you hit me and now the tower is shooting you instead of the creeps. And you can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. That's what I found to be the most useful thing thus far. Is that really? It, That's what you found yeah. to be the most useful? Early game useful then. Happy? <laughs> is the fact that it makes it very difficult for the other team to push you into your tower. Because you, if they get in tower range, you just taunt them and then they have to back away. Yeah, so. there's like a zoning, zoning ability with her in mm -hmm. lane. Two second duration at the max level. 
I honestly love her in the jungle. Like, I've been playing her all day in the jungle. She's so much fun in the jungle. How do you build her in the jungle? So what do you do with her in the jungle? Um, I build her, like, okay. bruiser. Yeah, I go Boombas, and it's just I have, like, a different jungle style than most people, so I go, like, Boombas, then Hog, and five health pots, and then I build, like, Magi boots, and then go tanky from there. So, like, I'll probably end up, like, building a uh, Void Stone anyway. So she's really tanky, but she still does a decent amount of damage. I don't know about that damage part. I yeah. mean, I don't know. It's a the, decent, the clear not is obscene. good. Yeah, it's not obscene. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. So. I find I like it hard it. to believe that it gets anywhere close to decent from when I tried to take a mid. It, never again. And I don't say <laughs> that so quickly, but never again. Dude, dude she's at, like the best mid. Yeah, okay, Sprite. <laughs> I haven't actually played her mid, so... <laughs> don't. You, you, just, trust me on this. Don't. Plus, not only that, um, like, in the jungle, too, like, her counter ganks are really good, especially the way the meta's running right now, because you're always going to have another roamer on the other team, usually, in, like, competitive play. So if you get your hands on Athena in the jungle, her <laughs> counter ganks are going to be just obscene. Hmm. But she doesn't have any... I don't know. It'd be interesting in her the jungle. Her clear is pretty, oh, pretty good, too, down. surprisingly. Don't worry, I'm on the way. Uh, <laughs> her well, clear is uh, surprisingly good, too. Like, uh, well, if she you has if three. Her three. Her three is a really good clear, and her one is a very good clear at the top of it, as well. Her, she has three AoE attacks, so... Yeah. I mean, well, she's going to have good clear. Yeah, her two is more of a taunt. Okay. It doesn't really do damage, does it? Explain her one. Her one is, like, a charge up, and then you dash. Yeah, I, I understand up, that much. It's a charge up. You dash to them, hit yeah. them, blow them, and then you, and you get a ranged attack. Do you do damage when you do that, right? When you dash through yes. them? Yes. Yes. Is anybody maybe... Is it buggy? Um, I went invisible a couple times when I used it. Oh Well, I mean, I've, yeah. I've gone invisible with that, too. Same but here. it seems like I've noticed... It confused the hell out of me for the first couple games because I would charge up and dash, and I would... It works on creeps, right? Yeah, you yeah. Okay. Yeah, go does, through. I, because I charge through creeps and turn around and they're like all the same, and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> and so then I tried it Are on some gods. Are you building gods. her tank? I was building her both. I was going tanky with some magic damage, but like it did like no damage. It didn't make a difference. And like I would charge it a Were god, and sometimes on... it wouldn't do any damage. It would be like I hit them and they just keep on walking, and it's like the. I, I just showed up. That's all that happened. And then another time I'll hit them and they're dead. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Were you playing on an EU server? Uh, possibly. But, I mean, it, I mean, I was in their face, so I don't know. It seemed a little I bit buggy. It. I think they might find some bugs, or people might find bugs with her dash being not actually applying damage, maybe. Or I, I just mean, suck. I've, I've we'll seen find it out. be weird. Uh, it reacts kind of weird to certain things, but I, I, would, I haven't seen any bugginess besides the invisibility yet. Although her ult is buggy as hell. At least I'm pretty sure it's a bug. Because if you ult somebody and they don't use any type of movement abilities or get this place, no matter where they are, you'll land on them. The second they leap, dash, or get knocked away, you land wherever their original position was before they get, before any of that happened. I don't know if they they might have hotfixed that, but that's what I was seeing yesterday. Yeah, like, if... Like, I think that's the only thing that's keeping Athena from being really, really good is the ulti is really buggy. buggy. Or, I, I, I don't know if it's a bug, but you are, aren't really teleporting to the location you're supposed to. It's, it's With like... ulti? If you teleport to someone like Agni, and Agni dashes, and you're doing it, you will actually land where he first dashed. You, you will not land... At his place, you will uh, land. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, they've always they. I mean, it's it's a constant thing they've had issues with is getting the dashes right the first time. It just never happens. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I can't recall any god that their dash worked fine within the first month of re their release. I have a feeling there's some really crazy stuff with moving that fast or teleporting or however yeah, they do it. Those are kind of meh. I don't know, like, like, I feel like Athena is, everyone keeps saying how good she is, like, I, I just don't see it. Hmm. Like, 
her damage is very average. Her ulti is very lack. Like the only thing good about it is basically that you, you can, you know, be cross map. Yeah, like the, the, that's the only good thing about it because in terms of like people actually standing close to the, to the guy you're actually doing it on, it's like very rare. Like it's very rare your ulti will actually do damage. Yeah, they have. I was really surprised it, at how small of a radius her ult was. <laughs> I'm like that's tiny. They have to be yeah. like it, it's really really tiny. I, I, like it, it's very hard for range. her to do damage with it. Yeah, I, I'm like that's not even the range of an AD carry. Like they have to be right next to him. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And and for I mean it's a global ulti. You look yeah. at all the other ultis. You look at all the other ultimates. The the I mean the range is big. Big. This one, it's really small. That's mm -hmm. very strange. I mean, it does a lot of damage. I, I think but... There's a couple of ways they need to change the ultimate. Would be either they make the radius where you land bigger, so that way, in the two seconds you actually take to get there, everybody isn't just like, I'm back on the other side of the map now. Um, or make her dump jump faster. One of those. It. Two. I don't think you need either, really. I think they just need to fix it so that they land in the in the proper position every time. Because when you make that all bigger, it does obscene damage for yep. no reason. So it's like ridiculous. And if you make the the time shorter, it defeats the purpose of the ult because the purpose of the ult isn't actually the damage; it's the damage reduction. Yeah, it's to give them the the protection benefits of it. I yeah. don't know. On 950 damage plus 100 percent of your magic power is not a small amount. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, but, but either it's fifty percent mitigation at all levels. Yeah, fifty percent mitigation is fair and ass. Yeah, Cooper, what do you think? Well, I was saying I don't really agree with them giving her that much damage on an ult that's already bringing you to the fight and mitigating fifty percent damage. The damage isn't high compared to other tanks. It's in line with how much a Sobek ult does or something like that. But it's just why. Why add it on there? It's there's no point to have the damage on there. Um, her shield wall is way too hard to hit. We covered that. There's really other un unless you're wanting to waste your taunt to get them there, which I wouldn't do in a team fight. It, it's not really useful. And I feel there's not in, once you're already in the team fight, there's no way for her to stick on anyone. She, the shield, she yeah. has she has her dash, but it has to charge up. And it's not exactly the farthest range. So she can't stay on targets where she needs to be able to CC them down and keep them in the fight longer. They can easily just ignore her pretty much because of her low damage. Well, effectively, she I only agree. has one CC ability, right? The, the oh. taunt. Right, ex exactly. And that's why I'm saying she, she she's really not... She's lackluster. And a very low yeah. attack speed. It's not she like a Bacchus that's really got the, the burp, the knock-up, and all that crap. Yeah, I don't, I don't think... We I mean, comparing her to other tanks just seemed wrong to me, because if you're if you're taking her for a tank role, you're doing it wrong. I mean, she makes a no. if, if you were gonna put her as a like, a, could what tank could she do better than? I mean, really? Nobody. Exactly. Well, that, yeah, but she's still yeah, a tank. Maybe Ares. Sense. Yeah. Like you maybe, can't okay, build her Ares. any other way. Maybe Ares. I'll give I'll, ah. gi I'll give you maybe Ares. Well, so she gonna be more of a niche pick in competitive play once people learn to play her. I I don't think she will be picked. Like I I, I don't see why it will pick a female tank over you know Bacchus or Bikimir. Oh yeah, uh, of course when they're banned out then maybe. <laughs> I mean I mean still there's Hades Quan like every single yeah. one is better. Like, they all have a way to really, stay on the target. There's really no reason to pick up a female over any one of them. Yep. Like. Uh, the only thing I can see her being viable is if she can. She's really good when it comes to souling. Yeah. I'll like that's the only thing she's actually really good at. But other than that, like she she doesn't bring in anything special. Like if you have a Sobic, like <coughs> he just brings so much more. You know, Ymir brings so much more. It's like. She's this awkward guy. She has like average damage. She has like average CC. She doesn't really have much in terms of like as a tank. She just she is like I don't feel her kit feels like a tank. Like her kit feels weird. 
especially the the dash like the dash doesn't feel like she's she's supposed to be a tank like yeah i think I'll the dash the uh, dash spell should be changed to something else yeah i i thought the dash like, was a really like, interesting part of her tank. a really interesting part of her kit because you have the three which as far as i can tell is straight up damage yeah it's just damage. It doesn't do anything else, as far as I can tell. Two seconds additional damage. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that. It, yeah. it makes them take more damage and that for a very short period of time, and then it does a damage. ton more damage the second when it explodes. Yeah. Like 180 but, uh, for initial landing. For and 360. a bruiser, I mean, so say, so we've already decided she's not a very good tank. So let's take her bruisers. I mean, is she? Would she fill a role of a magical bruiser? No. Because she doesn't do enough damage. Because she doesn't do damage. Yeah. There's a little lack of I don't see why we'll pick her over, like, like at the moment we have, you know, we have her, we, we have, uh, Herc, Four, Fenrir, Nash, and everyone, sing, every single one of them has more CC, has more damage. Mm. There's really no, nothing that she brings. She's got no good place right now. No. It, they've really hit this point in the game where they've given too many gods too much CC. So now the guys that are supposed to have it aren't getting it properly. Well, her hmm. CC is her taunt. I mean, I can see if she's used well in a team setting, that taunt can be incredibly powerful. Yeah. I mean, two, if you talk about agree, max level, two seconds of, like, forcing movement. And then attacking you. In a cone. <coughs> forcing in movement directly towards you. More than one character. It's, it's not just fearing them in random wow. directions. I mean, it's making them come towards you. So think of a Poseidon ult. Once you get them to pop beads or something and you taunt them, they turn around for two seconds and walk towards you, and then suddenly there's a Kraken under everyone. Yeah, I mean, I mean that in and of itself, if they built her as a tank around that, it might have been a better outcome god-wise, but that's not to say that she isn't a lot of fun to play. So I'm kind that's of conflicted. True, She's fun... But well, she isn't her, her taunt competitive. It it can it, it has enough range that it can hit maybe four. I wouldn't say as far as five people unless they were all grouped in in the center. But it can hit maybe four people. Um, the the problem is though is it doesn't have a big enough range for her lack of of mobility. She she literally has to get right up on you, and she has no way of doing that unless she charges up her dash. So. Uh, again, it, it's a lack of that mobility combined with the lack of damage, and that taunt you're really only going to see once in a team fight before anything else happens. You're not going to see it again. It doesn't have that short of a cooldown. Yeah. And she's not scary in melee. I mean, while she can't taunt and use her three, you take more damage, and then it does some damage. That in and of itself, that's not scary. If I was oh. taunted into say, oh, I don't know any other AD, that's scary. Like bad things happen. It's yeah, but like, it has. The other thing. Go ahead. Yeah, go for it. The, other, the other thing I wanted to say is why the hell does this god need a three swing chain? Why? It's not even mentioned in her passive tooltip at all. Yeah. yeah. But it's there. Yeah. I don't yeah, know why I, they they put it there and didn't say anything. Yeah, they put it there. They didn't say anything, and it doesn't do like the graphic for it is not where it does damage. Yeah, that's what was very like I saw her, like I, I was swinging and she goes like whoosh. I'm like, wait, I have a like AOE attack. AOE attack, and I'm like, wait why did it only hit one guy? There was three right in front of me. Yeah, that's yeah. annoyingly. I feel... <laughs> I'm like, it went through them. Yeah. If, I mean, the the best way to handle that one if they wanted to do a three swing combo would instead of having her swing it, just have her like bam and ah, you know, some like excessive poke instead of. Uh, Wing attack that looks like it should be AOE. I mean, do because you think that if they gave her enough attack speed? Do you think if they give her? Yeah, God, her attack speed is so slow. Um, if they gave her that third one to be AOE, would that make her a no, little bit more damage or anything be, useful? It's still pointless. Like, no, no, it's not make her auto attacking on on her uh, at all, especially in team fights. What they really need to do is they need to make that uh, shield wall thing that her three do what it actually looks like it should, which is block movement. And make the range bigger. Maybe make the range bigger. I don't. I think it'd be... Uh, if you increase no. it too much, I think it, it gets a little too... Not accurate. too much, but right now it's literally on you. Like, you have to... 
it's it really doesn't go out that far. So the ultimate? No, her her shield wall. Oh yeah. I think yeah. Like shield wall should have a different like I I feel like shield wall should be she summons like this what do you call those things? <clears throat> she summons. <clears throat> Um, Roman uh, Malex. <laughs> I agree. Malex. I agree with Theo. Why is Shield Wall neither a shield nor a wall? <laughs> yeah. I thought that that she was supposed to have some sort of like body block ability. I feel like that. I like a my two second Odin. I thought maybe like, yeah, like that was what the Shield Wall was supposed to do. It's like when you throw it down, they can't go out or they can't get in, or it slows yep. them, or it cripples them, or something. Or something. <laughs> I feel I like I'm being... Oh, okay. um, my bad. Go ahead, Coop. Go ahead. No, that was no, Spurr. Um, oh, that was good. Spurr. Okay, USA. You, you Ooh, might be confused sorry. by the USA hat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it's got to be a little mixed up. Yeah. Um, by the way, I saw a post on uh, Edit that I really liked. Um, they said that the shield wall should be a spell that... She's almost the exact same things, but every single one of those things she summons does damage. Um, like uh, outside, so that it, it, it will summon it and it will stick on you for like a, a couple of seconds, and everyone who gets close to you will take you know DDDPS. So that that kind of forces people to either stand near you and take a lot of damage, or you know be a hit of you because because the, the shield wall ability right now is just like well damage, you know, it doesn't bring anything else besides yeah. damage. And if you add so that you can actually do something with it, you know, people will have to think twice before they're actually standing really... You know. Yeah. Like, Nazar has no issue running through and trying to tank you because she's just like, I'll take that one shot because you're not going to do anything else afterwards. <clears throat> yeah. Like, so what is... Yeah. She has virtually no recourse if someone walks up and decides they want to eat her. I mean, it'd be nice if, say, uh, maybe her dash after it charges up. Good idea. Uh -oh. Her dash uh -oh. is can Disclaimer. be instantly casted. Disclaimer. Her dash can be instantly casted, but if you let it charge up, if you land it, it stuns them for a second. No, 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 no. No? Why not? No more stuns. No. No more stuns. No it's more stuns. a line stun. Whoever she goes through gets stunned. She doesn't need a stun. No. I actually think the dash is fine. It's it's different. It's not overwhelming. Very underwhelming. It is two seconds slow. Okay, maybe a little more damage on it because it. I feel like I smack it into somebody and then nothing. But <laughs> yeah. Literally, like you hit I, I think they took took my shot at them like two weeks ago way too seriously, where I said they were putting too many things on different skills, and they're like, <laughs> "Yeah, fuck you, Scythe." And then they them. It, it, it's like two paragraphs per skill, basically. Yeah. There's a thought. Maybe an ally healing as well as damage to enemies in the shield wall? Like, that would no. be cool. That'd be interesting. Why yeah. do you say no, Sprite? You just say no to everything I think of. <laughs> I hate you! <sighs> because she doesn't need a healing and a stun. Like, that's gonna stun. make her over well, the top. Other than that, she's got no sustain. At all. Well, but, well, but so does, you know, Bakker's Ymir. You know, yeah, they don't have they any, have any two, sustain they either. Have two different yeah, but they CC have abilities. Stun. Yeah, but that's Actually, everybody but who does have two CC abilities, abilities has has a sustain. Look at Sobek but, and, yes, and Guan Yu; they but, can heal themselves. They but they can every slow you single in. tank doesn't need like five five thousand CC abilities. Your mirror, like three CC abilities. Need yeah, that but they need. Anna slow and a wall. She has one. Like, one eh, CC ability. I mean, you have to be very close to use it. She has a taunt. It's, it's a taunt. Like, it's, it's, it's a good a... one. Close-ish. Close-ish. A taunt yeah, is, is a really good spell. She doesn't need more CC than that. Like, she, maybe something that can, like, keep people to her. Like, like make another people... taunt. <laughs> you taunt them. No, she doesn't need two taunts. <laughs> you can taunt them, and then you can flash them, and then they stun. There we go! There it is! I'm going south even faster! <laughs> you taunt them, then she walks up and she splashes you, and then they're stunned because they're like, <gasps> Oh! <laughs> Don't, we already have Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Yes, we already so, have Aphrodite. She kisses you and she kisses you're stunned. So basically, you, uh, like, so basically, what you're saying is, she needs a stun, 
a slow, a healy, a CC, yes. and an ulti that has global effect. Exactly. What I'm saying right, is that compared to every other tank, she has dick for CC. She has a taunt, the two second taunt, fine. Yeah, she has a two second slow, black luster. Ymir has a more... stun, a wall, a slow, another slow. Sobek has two knockbacks, a slow. Uh, fucking Ares has a cripple that slows. A team aid, which she has no team aid either, except for her ult, and let's be real, it's her ult. Uh, a ult that pulls everyone in. Hades has a slow, a fear, a heal, and an ult that pulls everyone in. And good like, damage. Let's be real. She, she's not doing enough. She's not nearly in line with the rest of the tanks. Like, and she doesn't do any damage. Like, yeah. It's... But that's the thing. Like, if there were just making her do a little bit more damage, she'll be gold. Like, she doesn't need no. everything. Like. Okay then. Need she needs stuff. everything. She I needs think this is what we're getting at. Basically, what we've come to the summation of is she needs something. Yeah. She needs something. Yeah, Whether needs something, something is more she... CC, more healing, and more slow, <laughs> and more damage, and more damage. Yeah, she needs to be Guan Yu no. 2.0. No. Here's here's the size solution. <laughs> Mark, every single tank damage because it's not. Oh, size no, size, no, size, size has a solution. I have it. Increase no. dash damage is not doing enough. Make the shield wall actually block people. Fix the ult. Done. Yeah. Done. Uh, it's... It, it, either that, or I like what Spray was saying about how you just t tweak her damage a little more, and then she'd be more considered a bruiser than a tank. You know what I mean? Like, I, I yeah. feel like it, it would do a lot of good for her if they just tweak her damage around, maybe. Because yeah. the inflation of stuns just is way too much. Well, I agree. a problem with magic is if she's going to be a bruiser, she currently only has two spells that do damage minus her ult. That's it. If you're a melee bruiser, you have at least two things that do damage plus your melee hits. Yeah. yeah but you, she has a taunt. You don't have that really with magic. So you're going to have to give her some, some more damage, damage on the taunt, or some way to be scary in melee. I don't know, give her magic damage on her attacks. Every single one of I, them. Make her not well, attack once a second. You know. Well, the thing the thing is too, you what you like you said the damage on the tall would also be good, but I know like her her auto attacks scale off of magic, so maybe they tweak that up and raise it a little more. That maybe she has some auto attack potential on top of her the damage that she's doing with her spells. Maybe there's another solution they could do. Hmm. Yeah. Or something. I don't know. That's a lot of Athena. <clears throat> yeah, that's a lot of Athena. Yeah. I think we should move on to another topic. I agree. Although we were having quite a lot of fun there. Uh Wait, wait, wait. What? Wait. What? All I'm gonna say is, every tank doesn't need, need to be so big. <laughs> like, people, like, tanks does, doesn't need to have that much CC, that much sustain, that much knockbacks, slows, everything. They, they don't need to, to have that much. Spray, you're and, right, yeah. but if they don't, there's no reason to ever pick them. Yeah, but so big yeah. also has, has a lot of damage. That's the thing. Like, so big has every, everything in the game. Yeah, yes, everything. No, I think that's your main. Like, like, no, like no. so. So big has everything. Amir has except like a point blank stuff. Yeah, but let's be honest here. Sobek's been out forever. We know how to deal with Sobek. Mm. We know he's not gonna. He's gonna deal a lot of damage, but it's gonna be few and far between. Like but, the times that he but, does. Ah, okay, we know, well, we know well, how to adjust to not get hit with him. Wait, 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 wait. What to expect? Like, come on now. No, but like. You're, you're basically saying that we have learned how to deal with Sobek. How exactly. come Sobek is first pick every single time? Because, because he's, he's still really good. good. Because, because he's overpowered. That's what I'm saying. He, he needs to be tuned down to be in range with the other tanks. The problem like, I... Tanks doesn't need to be so what Spiron is saying is that all the tanks are too good and they need to be turned down. Well, Sobek has saying, too hard to tanks are too good. Sobek, but let's be real... She doesn't do enough. Like even compared to Guan or Hades, which aren't picked as much as Sobek. But that's she's why not you doing enough. That's why you tune down the tanks so that even if you tone down Sobek, Ymir, Odin, she's still not doing enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The problem she, with she'd her... still be picked after Ares, and nobody wants to play Ares. <laughs> she's picked after Ares, and if you're picking Ares, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> you're already in a bad situation. 
But you know, it's because tanks, tanks are really always bad. picked first. You know, it, it's obvious that tanks are a big like deal in, in this it's game. You know, tanks are the, the I mean, best tanks thing in Apollo. this game. Tanks are the key. Like, it, 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 in terms of ADs, like you can pick Neath, Apollo, you know, Anner, but in terms of tanks, there are like three tanks that are, you know, this good, and then there are like tanks that are like this bad. No, no, I think it's like this good, this good, and like... And then Ares. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Ares. <laughs> well, I mean... Oh, he's not that now, bad. Come look on, at, Let's look at their... their, their uh, it's not Athena. Let's look at it in terms of AD, then. Artemis is effectively never in competitive anymore. Because Anner, Neath, and Apollo is too good. Like, if so you compare like if Artemis... They, what if they just released Artemis, and it's like... Why having this, <laughs> I feel like we'd be having the same conversation, except Spray would be saying they need to tone down all the ADs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, Which, like, actually, I, I will agree that they need to tone down all the ADs except yeah. for Artemis and Cupid. Yeah, and I really don't understand why every single new god has to have every everything. Because we I, want to have a fun game. Because those new gods will never get picked. <laughs> Ever. But like, because they've gone for so Artemis, long, like, by having gods have everything, there won't be any comparison if they don't give them everything until they tone down those old gods. Okay, but but like, the thing with Artemis is, Artemis Kid is actually pretty good. Like, Artemis Kid yeah. is good for a ranged AD. Uh -huh. That's how a ranged AD is supposed to be. She has a lot of damage, be. too. Yeah, she has damage, she has a slow... She has a pig that stuns enemies. She has a trap. She has a good kid. She has a pig. She has a yes. pig. That's a new thing. All the ADs need pigs. I mean, boar. Boar. Bacon. Well. They need bacon. Bacon. <laughs> well, anyway, pigs like, and bacon like, and blankets. Not really that funny. No, but the thing is, she has a good good kit for a ranged AD. Then you then you look at Neath. Neath has what? She has a root. She has a uh, attack speed uh, reduction. She has a heal. She has a backflip. She has a, she has a, she has a global ulti. Like she has so much going for her. Mm, and not, I want to bring up something that Jacob brought up in the chat. Anna. But let's not pretend that Neath isn't completely reliant on her cooldowns, though. As opposed to oh Artemis, who can auto attack rape you at what, level one. Anymore? Okay, so so still. I still don't know why Anders Pillar isn't isn't you know nerfed to the fucking ground because it, it, it's <laughs> it's too too good because I don't know. But like a a Anders Pillar gives him it, it, it's one spell, one I'm spell gives him carry on for a while. attacks. <laughs> it, it, it gives him damage. It gives him a pillar that can block a path. That alone is huge. Then, she, then the pillar the also slows you down to infinity. And beyond. Like, that spell alone is like <laughs> almost the single best spell in the game. I don't know. I'm done. Finally, <laughs> 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 he gave up and changed the topic to God balance. And like, we're going to talk about this for the rest of the year. And uh, then you're like, that's it, I'm done. That's it, I'm done. So, yeah, I wanted to bring up the fact that obviously Artemis, that Artemis needs to be able to ride her boar into battle. What she should do is cast it, and then she can ride on the boar, and whichever target she wants to stop at, she can jump off. And the boar will keep stunning, but she can then focus that target now. It'll give her a dash. In melee range! Yes, she'll put her in melee range, and <laughs> that makes ever... have all that time to burn you down. But it's risky, if because if you ever... go up against the melee, she they can also hit you in the face. Yeah, I give up. <laughs> what, what side? I said if they ever use any of your ideas, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I'm done. That was Jacob's Going to idea, that wasn't mine. AD ca I just AD took carry, it and ranged. It. We, we, what are we going to do? Make her go in melee range with no escape. Yeah, so we can have it's a like mountain. Reverse in the game. No, no, no. It could be another global ultimate. She, she has two cho either the boar, when she summons it, can go around and stun everyone, or she can ride the boar into battle. <laughs> like a I ground like version of Apollo's ult. Yes! <laughs> She's got to run through the jungle. And she gets like. 150% movement speed. Or 200%. Yeah, 200%. And when she hits you, she stuns. <laughs> and knocks up. And pulls. 
also taunting. While fearing. Only for a half second, though. <clears throat> no, for like three seconds. There we go. We're good. Now that we've taken this absurd kit and run with it. Yes, we have. Now we will get on. Ground. Who is breathing into anyway, the microphone? Moving on, Nerf Apollo. Okay, done with God Balance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> done with God Balance. Nerf All right, so I hear. I hear. I hear wait, hear. wait. Let me change the topic in a second. Now you, you, may, you may. There's something that we wanted to talk about. Now I gotta type it again. We Please, hear click, click. that there could be a new team on the on the mix. It's a new team, damn it! Because the last time you guys were a team, it was a long time ago, and. It was the, the 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 player base has grown like no 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 only forty no, percent no. maybe no 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 percent of the people know who you are <laughs> okay 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 we need a new team so that there's seven teams competing in the <laughs> tournament yeah. seven oh, boy. less than eight oh god four thousand dollars how many how many did we have last week six six it's six Which teams in the NA two. bracket two two less than eight spray you're breathing in your mic. Oh, am I? Yes. <laughs> no, oh, thank sorry. you for breaking that. All right. So anyway, beyond that, no one showed up. Uh, we have a great new team. Yes. Maybe. Who is this lovely new team that you ask? Is it? I forgot the name. You guys are supposed to chime in. There. Wow. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we were like building focus, that up, building that up, and you're topic. like, team <laughs> focus. <laughs> yeah. Team focus. Because you oh, guys you obviously really miss... The focus stats that we used. Oh, to have. Time, out, time, oh out, time out! Time out! Time out! We were named Focus before they even added that shit. We're on like the fourth iteration of this team. Yeah. And to put it in perspective, for anybody who's been here forever, the first iteration of this team had Cooch Bra on it. Cooch Bra, <laughs> Cooch Bra taken over by Giga Rooster. I was on the team back then after Cooch Bra left. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so be fair. No, no insult to the lineup. Let's we, we have we have Scytheman. <laughs> we have Andister. We have Gigacock. We have Wigbeaner. And then we have Scytheman. Did I miss anybody? You missed. Gun you metal. said Scythe twice. Did I miss Scythe twice? Scythe double. Who did I miss? Gun you missed Gunmetal. Gunmetal. Gun that's it. Damn it. I knew I missed somebody. Uh, so, uh, two thirds of you guys are obviously dead. Um, the other three are probably reasonable people. Uh, <laughs> most of you guys suck. A few of you are nice. I was gonna run with that, but I stopped. You said suck. And oh, I'm, that... I'm glad you've learned to filter over I the I filter years. at least once every episode. This All was right. the right time. So, I hear that you guys have been playing pretty well. Yeah, uh, yeah for our good. first scrim, we played against Snipe. Did uh, fairly well, beat convincingly, and then we uh, had a couple of scrims against Root and uh, learned a lot. So, so you lost is what you were saying with that. Oh one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we lost. Fucking <laughs> okay, noobs. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too bad though. It was okay. losses. I, I didn't did go like 16 and two against them. No, 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 no. It wasn't like when you fought Root, you went 16. You mean 29 and 2? I see. Yeah, 29 and 2. I'm sorry. 29 and 2. What is that? Oh, sorry. 27. 26. I think it was. 26? No, it, it was 29 and 2. It was 29? Okay, good. I was right. Yes. Time. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you didn't go 29 and 2, dude. Sorry, Root, guys. I, I couldn't reason. <laughs> yes. Spray what? holds down the. The Denial EU team holds down the most raffle stomping of Root thus far, I guess. Denial EU team? You In mean a... the best EU might team? Yes. Man, what? You're it's a cat. Really what? going for that plug. <laughs> you're really going that deep. God. <laughs> Stop it with the puns. This is gonna get really bad. It's okay. I know when you have to think too much. Yes. Yes. All right. So continuing on. So tell us about this team. Who, are you, like. So who's playing what lanes? Yeah. Obviously, Andister and Wig are your ads. Yeah, well, well, they're oh, no. they've been a lane forever, so we're just keeping it that way. Uh, they are they're the wombo combo lane. Yeah, yeah. They've been together since like I don't know how long. Like probably since like the creation of this game. And then, <laughs> since uh, Focus One. <laughs> yeah, it's basically. Uh, well, and of course, cool. uh, Scythe is mid, and Gunmetal is our solo laner, and I'm like permanent jungler Ooh. slash armor. So, what is your favorite? Jungling God. Uh, 
<laughs> Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this one, and it's, we ran it yesterday against Root. Uh, and I played a uh, jungle AD Ymir, and it actually like, worked out really, really well for us. That's hilarious. I mean, AD Ymir is a valid thing. It's weird, and not entirely. I'm not sure a good idea, but hey, whatever. So, how how did you build him exactly then? Did you like um, Deathbringer and that kind of stuff? No, like um, like normally, like you know, you would. It's, it's like the basic start items, like Bombas, I go Hog, and then five health pots. And then I get Warrior Tabai, and then um, into Void Blade, and then straight Tanky after that. Okay. So kind of a hybrid tank, not necessarily... Yeah, not like... not straight AD, okay. mostly just a bruiser. Okay, so you're... Not like we're running around with a Deathbringer and a Soul You're leader building and... him like a weird <laughs> reverse tank. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Because you want to be able to take, it helps you take down the jungle buffs because you got to auto attack the crap out of them. Well, yeah, on, on, too, uh, like, uh, people don't think it's going to clear as fast, but, you know, you have your freeze, you have your, also have your uh, two, um, yep, and spikes. then on top of that, you have the passive, which you're getting extra damage for. So you're, you're, you're actually getting a lot of damage, even though you're just building, like, two AD items. You're getting a ton of damage for what you're building. You're getting a good return off of it. Ymir is scary. Yep. Now, uh, thanks to you, uh, there will be a lot more AD Ymirs in the game. And I, wel and I welcome <laughs> all the, my opponents to play Yes, AD I welcome Ymirs. all my opponents. Anybody who's on my team, I will yell at you. Because you aren't Giga Rooster. No, or you are not. Or Do not play Ymir AD. <laughs> in okay. a jungle, anyone. Sprite, what there. are you doing? Are you trying to go, like, full on? Wow, that's retard? crazy, man. <laughs> Spray, Spray is so sad that I, that I defended Neath. <laughs> what? Dude, I have two sunglasses. Like I have this one on me, and then I have this one. Is that a Twizzlers? He's, he's actually just crying inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, he wishes he could be in the USA. USA. So USA. then, on the what does uh, Gunmetal? He's the solo laner, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is he going to be typically playing in the? What is a good solo laner? It's, um. Yeah. I'll listen. It's not it. mid. It's hard to say so far. I think something that we're going to be doing that other teams haven't really attempted yet is we're we're not afraid to put somebody who's not so tanky in that solo lane, mm -hmm. um, which means you're typically probably going to see him on somebody that either requires hell. a lot of farm or some sort of no, not hell, or <laughs> some sort of carry. Um, what that winds up being is going to be very reliant on the rest of our team comp. But I, you're definitely gonna see some janky shit from us. <laughs> like that's just how it goes. What happened? What happened? Where Coop go? What the... Someone dropped. Dude. I will. And Dad oh, the move. overlay is bad again. Where did Coop go? <laughs> Check your chat log. I bet he's gonna be like. I want oh. my <laughs> Andy Cooper now. <laughs> Seriously, Coop. You can't bring it to our attention when we're having a conversation. He's <laughs> like, guys, guys, all right, guys, can gotta you stream, go stream. Gotta go. Bye. Like one minute. All right, let me fix that. Continue talking. That was it. A oh, fine. I was done. <laughs> keep, Coop has used his escape card. T TLDR weird picks and carries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I mean, TLDR. I look forward Agni, to. Agni. So. Since we're talking about this, and we saw the tournament winnings before, what happened? Why were there only six teams playing? Spray sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides that. Spray <laughs> NA, whatever. I mean, it's for you, Scythe Man. I mean, where did I mean, they go? I, I think people are just either... I think it's a... And I'm going to get yelled at for this because you're, fucking oh. I'm American too, but I'll admit it. We have, it's NA, I'm going to say American because I'm going to assume we're mostly American. We have this mentality that if we're not going to win immediately, we don't want to fucking do it. The fact of the matter is, people are not willing to do the work they need to do. Like, you want to be competitive, it's going to require work. You're not just going to walk in and beat the shit out of Root. I mean, even Root with all their roster changes and questionable egos are still going to stomp <laughs> you because <laughs> because they may not 
you know, practice with each other all the time, but they're damn sure playing, and they're damn sure trying to get better stomping clubbies. I mean, come on now. Mm-hmm. You, you got to do something to make yourself better, or you got to be willing to put in fucking some sort of time. Is it the people are intimidated by it, and so they may be just... I know one of the issues was kind of brought up in a Reddit thread where they said that Apex Gaming team match where they played and people in the chat were just rolling all over them saying, you guys are terrible, you should uninstall, this is just stupid, you guys are getting stomped on by Snipe and blah, 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 and it's just downright rude. And, I mean, Bart's opinion was, well, I mean, if you can't take that, then you don't need to be playing. But, still, as a community, you know can we please not that? be that much of an asshole? You know what I have to say to that? The what? 500 people in chat that are saying that are not playing. Yeah. They're, yep. they're, they're bigger pussies than the people that are going and getting stomped right now. Yep. I mean, At least they tried. At least they showed up. Where are you 500 at? Yeah. Sitting there, doing nothing. A big thing too that I noticed too is there's like you'll always go into games you'll see all these other teams but for some reason none of them show up when come tournament time like it feel like I don't know why but I guess they don't have any initiative to actually sign up for the tournament and see if they're better than other teams that are well, in there already. Well, so funny thing about that, uh, Demon and I used to run a tournament we called it casually competitive, and sometimes we had I think what was the most teams we almost thirty three yeah thirty three teams one time. It was 17 NA, or 17 EU, 16 NA. Yeah. We had 33 teams say, hey, you know, we want to come fight each other. We want to see who's the best. It was no prize! No prize. You didn't get anything for winning. I mean, you got your, your name up on the site and everything, yeah. but... It was streamed on Smite Game. Streamed on Smite Game. But we had 33 teams show up. Yeah. Dicks. I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that it was... Don't really care. Just show up and play. Yeah, and... show up and play. I mean, when you're playing for money and you have the best people involved, you need rules. You need structure. Just things that just has how it has to work, so that you don't have people abusing it. But these players are here, and there's some reason they're not joining us. So could it be that they don't want to take it as seriously as those teams are? Like maybe it's a little too premature in the the status of the game that we're trying to push too much too fast. It might yeah. be that, but then again, I mean, a hundred bucks—a possibility of winning a hundred bucks a week—is a good incentive enough just to play a tournament yeah. that takes up like three hours, three to four hours of your day. Or if you lose I mean, an hour, yeah, yeah, it doesn't like it, it doesn't take up much time, and you're you have an incentive to win money. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I mean, it it, it doesn't make sense not to sign up, honestly. Right. Yeah. I mean, there there isn't a lot that you lose by. Going and losing. I mean, if you're a new team, no one expects you to beat Root. So yeah. I'm signing up a team this weekend but for the NA tournament. So if you would like to be on my team, uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna make sure there's me. at least eight teams in the NA tournament. Yeah, uh, we're just we're going to practice Saturday morning before the tournament. We we show show up at ten ish, maybe nine ish, depending on whoever sleeps in or not, and uh, we will uh, we will play and we will have fun. And we will not take it seriously. It's so, going to be awesome, and there will good. be... We have two It'll... people. We've got it in the chat. If you want to play with me, and our, my, my, um, we're going to be playing as the Baconators. <laughs> Damn it, because the Baconators will one day do something useful! AD Jungle uh, Alquong. Yes. I'm sorry, Dwarf, that it's too early for you. You'll have to put this dedication in for this one day of the week and wake up slightly early to come and practice for, like, two games before we go into a tournament. <laughs> uh, Nips, there we time. go. That's four. You're gonna get five. Six, I'm gonna get seven. five. Pe- yeah, I mean, we get we need subs because obviously some people are gonna sleep in, and they're gonna be like, oh. Anyway, so yeah, we'll be playing Saturday, because damn it, need more teams, and I will ride the freight train of new teams coming into this game, come and play on Saturday. Let's do it. Ah. Anyway, so continue. But they were good games. I mean. Yeah, they were good games. It was good smite happening, and I look forward to more. Good smite happening with a new meta that we just have because we have a new item that costs 750 gold and we're like, woo! Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> you don't like it, Spray? No, I do not like the new meta. It's Spray, do you boring. like anything? Does Spray What's like anything besides the lo- I, think, I don't think, think he likes. I don't think he likes anything but Illuminati ice cream, honestly, at this point. Well, oh, I know, Raw. Right? You guys should have seen I it. I like the tank meta because everyone was 
I was like, everyone uses Faradas. <laughs> Nobody could touch us back then. <laughs> yeah, that was true. Yes, tank meta. All tanks all yeah. day. <laughs> Three tanks, bruiser, and an AD carry. <laughs> too, too easy, never die. <laughs> yeah. Plus, he got to play hell every game. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> all right, so uh, good old hell here's man. what we're doing. All of you guys who think we need to populate the NA tournament more, and get more random teams in there just for the sake of blowing it up, uh, I'm going to start a Reddit thread, and we're going to have sign-ups on the Reddit thread. And then we're going to have the Reddit mods start delete with it, is we'll, and we'll make a new Reddit thread. And we will. And we will keep making them until we have more teams. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to organize teams out of that. So if you want to play this weekend, it's, it's going to be... We'll do it on Reddit, we'll do it on Denial's forums, and we'll do both. And so... Uh, yeah, we'll sign up everybody who wants to play with people to show up. And we'll, we'll treat it like the casually competitive, where basically, <laughs> let's show up and sign up and go! You know, just like that. Except we have to sign up before 10 o'clock, because that's when the cutoff is, I believe. For the sign-up part of it. Yes, so. something like that. Spray, uh, what are you mumbling under your breath? The NA admin's gonna love um, us. I know, right? Sorry, Blake, but If only teams... we had an EU admin. Wait, wait, wait. What Demon. kind of are you actually that? Allowed I don't understand really? what that meant. Go ahead, Spray. Are you actually allowed to play, seeing as you are the admin? I don't know. I'm actually going to message him to find out. But, um... Because yeah. <laughs> that would be awkward. Like, Dude, not, I'm the admin. I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm not in game against the root. I'm not scared of, like, winning the actual tournament. If I thought I might actually win, I would be a little concerned. But I'm not. Sh I'm pretty sure we're not going to make it past the first round. Thank you, so, Anders, number one losing team in a... Number one losing team ever. <laughs> Because <laughs> yes. bacon, all it does is feed. Uh, there you go. You like tactical feeding. It's like tactical feeding, yeah. Except they won. Yeah. They oh yeah, won. They actually did. Yeah. Did they win? Yeah. No. They did. <laughs> Wait, no. What the feeders are you? I got. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember which one won between tactical feeding and feeders are you. I gotta check now. This is gonna irritate me. I think it was feeders are you. Yes, it was Feeders EU. Yeah. Well, e either way. <laughs> what the? Wait, wait. That so was the Feeders most... EU. Meet tactical feeding. <laughs> yes. Obviously, their tactical... tactical feeding. Their tactical feeding was more better. Was They were better at tactically feeding than they were at just straight up feeding. <laughs> Legion of the Bacon Knights. Yes. <sighs> Legion of the Bacon Knights. Ooh, I like that. That's good. That's or good. Baconites. Baconites. Mm hmm. I see what you did there. Yeah. Nice. So now that this conversation is just deteriorating into nothing, what should we talk about next? Any any topics? We need uh, call-ins, so we, we would love we, for you yes. to call us in on this lovely Smite call or Skype call-in. Not Smite call-in, but Skype call-in. Call, in, call us talk, up on Smite. And uh, you can be talking to the panel, talking to us, bring up anything you would like to do. Uh, if you would like to announce your team and what team you're building for this, this weekend's NA tournament, uh, you can call us in and ask for your team people to join your team. Uh, that's That's kind of that. Um, what else could we do? Dude, that... dude, dude, there's going to be a five-man all Ymir high-res team. Yes. Just five Ymirs. That is a good idea. That will win everything. And they'll all go AD. <laughs> I want to say something, please. Nope. Okay. Nope. Um, anyway. Um, I, I want to say that Jerb has finally said that I'm, I'm a nice player. Wait. Oh, well, well, wait, 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 wait. Was this one he of said those? I was a good player. Oh, okay. Because okay. when was this? He, he was in uh, Les's chat like a week ago after we won the first weekly. Uh -huh. And he was like, Spray on, you're looking so damn good now. I'm like, Jerb is saying this to me. Like, <laughs> are, are, oh, were, was he talking I, I, about I your play, ability of playing Smite or something else? He was talking about, obviously he was talking about how sexy he is. His spray is one hot Swedish man. I, will, I, I think he was talking about Smite. But, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll assume he was talking about Smite, though. Yeah. We'll assume. Is this a personal achievement for you, Spray? Yes. Okay. Yes. Congratulations. I, I have always um, thought that you will acknowledge me, so... He finally did. Congratulations, Spray Arn. I am good. proud yes. of your... Thank so, you. Thank you. so, is Jerby now officially gone from Smite? 
Yeah, he announced it in the yeah. chat that he quit completely. Okay. So, does that make him fair game for every joke that's on the planet, or does that mean he's off limits for all jokes on the planet because was, he's left? I thought he was still he, already the joke. Like, yeah, the, like... Flash tires? I mean, Flash tires. You've been saying Michelin for, like, how many months now? <laughs> Michelin man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, but, uh, he, really, he didn't miss something. We were he, he was talking about. He was really sorry about making that comment. I I will say. Yeah, we talked to him at PAX. Yeah, we talked to him at PAX. He's like, dude, sorry, I wish I had I'm never like, said that. Sorry. And that's when Revel was like, you need to take it and like roll with it and like yeah. make it yours and like you know, really own it, own it and popularize uh. it because then it's like Michelin Man slashing tire derby. Yeah. He's got like catchphrases and crap. You know, how many people in like, Smite have catchphrases? You, you don't have a choice. Yeah. Or, I, I mean, Spray's I uh, site's choice. got potato because his computer was one. Until he got <laughs> hey, I'm a rock. Leave me alone. Yeah, it's a rock. It's not that, potato. That too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> but uh, we did miss something when we were talking about balance. What? We, yes, We rock. forgot Balloon Man Bacchus. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bacchus. <laughs> Bad. Eh, no, he's still no, a no, nuisance. Okay. He's just... A lot he's, slower in his jump. Good. He's just his his jump is hilarious to look at now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, his jump. And Ra's beam is faster. Yes. Ra's yes. beam is faster. Has that screwed yeah, anyone else up in the sense right? that it makes it harder to hit his ultimate because you're throwing his beam down and you're getting used to that and then you're like his ultimate should shoot faster too and it doesn't. No. Okay. Uh, no. 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 No, Fair enough. I, just I mean, they're both yellow. What, what has screwed me is the slow being faster. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a big thing. That's really. So it just pops faster. I haven't played Ross since the patch. It pops faster, yeah. Okay. It pops up a second sooner. Mm -hmm. And it, it it reminds me how long three seconds really was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they got the Kool Aid skin for Bacchus. He's blue. Is that what you're saying, Scythe? Got to be red. Yeah, dude, I didn't say anything. Yeah, he's yeah, gotta be red. I, wait, hold up. Why you go to me when we're talking about Kool Aid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, why I did thought, you go I to him? When we started this conversation, you said Blue Bacchus. I said Balloon Man Bacchus. Oh, Balloon Man Bacchus. <laughs> because See, it's your crappy microphone that got me thrown off. Uh -huh, yeah, not the uh -huh, Kool Aid. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Blue or red depends on if he wants to be cool or not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's gotta do that whenever he jumps, too. He's like, oh, oh god. god, that's gonna happen now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so annoying, though. Instead of going, to, oh, he's gonna go, oh, yeah. <laughs> or, or they could just do that on his ulti, like either either one. Like <laughs> he, <laughs> when he goes to throw down, a brick wall appears in front of him, and he's like, boom. Or if we could get Kool Aid Man from Mama, imagine that. <laughs> Yes. I have no uh, idea what that is, by the way. What? You don't know what uh, Kool-Aid in God. Sweden? You Europeans. No. no. I have no idea what missing. that is. It's going to be really difficult to add. Not right now. Yeah. Just, just hold on. Kool-Aid Vimana? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Kool-Aid Vimana. I think... So, what are, What other uh, patch notes? What are the Nezal balance changes? Nezal Nezal got a nerf. Crazy... Bonus. No, that wasn't a crazy nerf. It's, yeah, I, I didn't think it really did enough. It didn't really 20%. fix what was broken on her outfit. I mean, it, it was ridiculous before, but it needs more. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a 20% was... of the tax speed nerf is kind of a... Before it was fucking ridiculous. Now it's just ridiculous. No, now it's good. No, no. no it's good. Now, no, it's now the still... attack speed is good, and the rest of her is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Scooby Doo a newbie. I like that. Being able to <laughs> kill people in like one second was from full health to dead was epic. I yeah, now, was yeah, now it takes a whole extra second for her to do it now. Oh. <laughs> it was like dead. I, I hate this. I hate especially I, I when like, every guy is that the counterplay that the counterplay to Naja is by Nemean Lion and maybe you'll live. Yeah, <laughs> the possibility. Need I hate every Bacchus. god in this game. Possibility of parole. Mm -hmm. Wait, that had nothing to do with you, Scythe Man. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> god damn it, Steven. Oh yeah, the only Bacchus. gods in this game that are good is Hell and Artemis. Like, those have good design. Everyone else is just. Really? Really? 
Yeah. <laughs> <Who do you laughs> <pick? laughs> Just really? the two? There's no one else. No yes. Agni, no, no nothing? No, no, no. no? Everyone else. Uh, no, no. Crap. Not even Thor? I think there's no. a lot of good <laughs> Thor design. should be nerfed. Like, way nerfed. Way nerfed? Okay. Um, way nerfed. There's a lot of good designs that just have too much loaded onto them. Well, would you say Agni would be a, is a good place for I think Agni is... Mages? Okay, Agni is the most fucking talked about mage out there. I finally figured it out. His ult, put it on a 60 second cooldown, and give him three bombs to use within, what, like, I don't know, 20 seconds? Make the cooldown start after the third bomb's cast? So you have, you, you no longer have this poke, poke, poke Agni. Ooh, uh. ooh, ooh, so that way the bombs can do more damage. They don't even really need to do more damage. Oh. They do enough damage. Yeah, they, yeah, they do yeah, enough. They do. It's either that. you commit with all but the bombs or you don't. You, yeah, you either commit to it and the other guy has the time and say, okay, let me back off for 20 seconds or whatever, or you don't. And while we're at it, can we nerf Poseidon into the ground? <laughs> <laughs> the best Poseidon is haunting the scythe of his dreams. <laughs> I can, uh, I... I have to say that as well. Like, I think he, he needs, needs a tweak. Yeah. Ooh. Poseidon? Which one yeah, are we talking like, about? Being, yeah. being able to throw There's a reason. Oh. I'm about to Go ahead. Yeah, I, I was going to say that, you know, there is a reason why he is in every single game. You know? Yeah. Like, that pool, I, man. I don't think... Like, I, I don't think I have played a competitive game where I haven't faced him, you know? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, he's in every single people game. are gonna say this is gonna make him weak, but just take the cripple off the fucking whirlpool. Like I'm, I'm tired of it. It, it kills people for no good reason. The, I think the it's thing does really ridiculous reason. damage, and then you can't get out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Either, I, I, my idea was either take cripple make, off the whirlpool or make it to where Gem of Iso doesn't make it extra cripply. I don't. I don't think that's a good idea. Extra what think... about what about if they get Gem of Iso, it takes the cripple off the pool. So either you can have mm. cripple or you can have Gem of Iso. No, that's no. terrible. No. That's too much. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> that's we, that's no one would get Gem. Uh, gem then. Exactly. That's just <laughs> bad design interaction. Like make the pull stronger and take out the cripple because having literally no counterplay if you stand still or, or don't react in like 0.5 seconds it's a little ridiculous yeah, I mean you can say your counterplay is ages but let's be real I shouldn't have to buy, put 1100 into an item to counter this guy and he's still going to have a window where his ult comes off cooldown where I don't have my counter back and I just spent 1100 to counter him yeah Mmm. Good times. Yeah. yeah. Fun things. Good times, fun things. All sorts of excitement. Yeah, I mean, is there anything else going on in the uh, patch notes that are... Anything else that blew your guys' minds? No, I think we covered it. There are some bug fixes. You got all of it. Wait. Oh, I did want to bring up... Did you guys see the uh, the boat murdered per post? The what? Yeah. yeah did you say boat that. murder? Yeah, yeah, it was. The, the it's a player. player. I heard boat murder too, and huge, I was really confused. Huge posts on the forums uh, about you know the NA comp scene and God balance and just the, the way the game is going in general. Great, link it. <sighs> now I have to find it, dude. You brought <laughs> yeah. it up. You brought it up, and you weren't prepared. You're a terrible, terrible guest. I'll so on a side you. note, I was at Chick Fil A today, there and we go. got to watch somebody get arrested in the uh, parking lot next door. Nice. That was fun. It was a nice learning experience for the kids. Really? They pulled over some kids in it? their car and got them out of the car and then put them on the back you of the car and then handcuffed them. And we were having a fun conversation with the people in the store about what was going on. Drugs are bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Yep. That, that, that Noir just linked. Best wall of text I've ever seen on a forum. Let's is it, is it, it a solid wall or is it a transparent it's a wall? Solid wall. Wow. Good golly, Miss Molly, I will never read all that. I'm sorry. I totally will. I have more. Free I I don't have the patience to read that much. Uh -huh. It's right there. Everyone that cares, Steve. 
All right, so yeah, everybody wait. pause and read it yeah. while we're live. Well, just just stop and read it now. No. Is there we'll anything you dark. Th like uh, since you really liked it and since you've read it, is there anything about it that you wanted to point out to the stream? Nothing that I think don't think we've already said plenty of times. Cool. Like it's it's really just everything us competitive play players bitch about yeah. all in one convenient wall of text. Uh, yeah, that, there's well. also some call outs on some players and uh. And this is a guy that's fairly active in the uh forums. He has seventeen hundred posts. Dear God. He's not, he's not an awful so, player either, like he's a pretty decent player. Seventeen hundred posts. Oh damn. God. That's a lot. Yeah. That's yikes. He actually <laughs> reads those forums. Right. Yeah. Well, I stopped reading those somewhere anyway. after DM's top 25. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DM's top 20. I just went over the entire chat's head. Yeah. For good reason. Although I'm sure if we got DM on here, he would be more than happy to explain it. Oh. I actually have to shake something on this my forums now. I just say that. Are you gonna find the top um, top twenty post to see if you're on it back? No, in the no, 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 oh. no, 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 not that. What are you How talking about? Spell... Of course he's not on it. Yeah. How do you spell Yupermander? Apparently. Oh my God! You're gonna look him up. <laughs> what? To see how many posts Yupermander has. I want to see how many posts he has. I want to see how many Like posts six months has. ago, the kid had like six thousand posts. Really? I do not shit you. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, that awesome. was six months ago. It's like halfway through the I, beta. Did he and, like? Did he like comment seven times on every topic? Yes. Like I don't more. More like yeah. Become... Like oh. he lived on the forum, so it's like Reddit for him. Yeah. Yeah, it really was. I don't. It's like Jay. Oh, me are anyway. I don't know. Yeah, I'd agree. I think we are kind of done done with the show, Paul. I think we've been done for like. <laughs> it's been up for a while. Yeah. yeah. We're, do, we're just going to cut it on the VOD. Is Toot for Root still a thing? There it is. Theo D. Moore. Theo got it. Jormander. You mean War? Warmander. Charmander. Charmander. Yeah. Anyway. Charmander? <laughs> no. So. Yeah, did Toot stop playing? I, I, I think he still <laughs> plays occasionally, like... Casually, and not when we're ranked, though. He got tired of uh, getting That's hassled all the time. I, I know Lucky stopped. Luck you? Lucky. No, oh. Lucky. No, Lucky is going to be here forever. <laughs> he will be on a team for two days and then be on another one for two days. Uh, I, feel, I feel so <laughs> to bad be fair. that he's become that joke. To be fair, though, Toot was actually not that bad in the end. Yeah. At, at yeah. the very end, he was actually okay. As Anubis was. Yeah. He had that Baka, Baka spree too. But then I had to cut it. Cut yeah, it so. Add in the <clears throat> well, I mean, we can we can exit now. Can. We can be done now. So, all right, we are going to wrap it up now. We are going to play our outro. Would you like to play some music while we do that? I would. I, I, I very much and, would. And uh, then we'll just come back and do BS time until uh, everybody's ready to go. Ooh. That was snuck up on me. You know those kind of... Oh, my God. Oh, well, taking it over the top, sir. Over the top. That's how all I do it, baby. Right. So we're going to end it with our lovely, lovely intro. Thank you all for joining us. We will be back shortly. We'll be back shortly.